Hello, this is Andrew Jeffrey, and I'm going to show you something very cool. Here's a little magic math trick that you can uh, show your friends, show your teachers, but show yourself. When you start to learn your multiplication tables, I'm willing to bet that the last one you probably do is the seven times table. And there's a good reason for that. You learn the twos and the fives and the tens first, because, let's face it, they're the easiest ones. Why? Because of the patterns. And that's why we tend to do the sevens last, because there's no obvious pattern in the sevens until today. Because this trick is so good, you're going to love it. You're going to be showing everybody the seven times table. So here it goes. So here's how the trick works. We're going to combine noughts and crosses with snakes and ladders. Now I'm going to define my mathematical snake as a three-digit number, three consecutive digits starting with a zero. So zero, one, two. And the next snake is going to start where that one left off. So two, three, four. And if you like patterns, you'll know that the third snake must be four, five, six. But remember, I said this game was snakes and ladders. So here come the ladders. Now, although snakes like to wind their heads and tails around each other, ladders, of course, that would be very dangerous. So we're going to do ladder number one. One, two, three. Ladders, of course, go up to down. And then we're not going to overlap them. We're just going to go four, five, six. And the last ladder, seven, eight, nine. Now watch what happens when we put the snakes and ladders into the grid. The first snake goes zero. One, two. There it is on the top row. The next snake goes two, three, four. And the final snake goes four, five, six. So far, so good. But here's where the magic happens. Look what happens when we put the three ladders into the three columns. Ladder number one. One, two, three. Ladder number two. Four, five, six. Ladder number three. Seven, eight. Nine. Doesn't look much, but look what we've done. One seven, two sevens. Three sevens are twenty-one. Four sevens are twenty-eight. We have in fact created the nine times seven. One seven, two sevens, three sevens, four sevens, five sevens, six sevens, seven sevens, eight sevens, nine sevens. And they told you the seven times table had no pattern. And now you can tell them it does. So there you go. How cool was that? You see? Snakes and ladders and knots and crosses. Who would have thought it? And now, of course, you can reproduce the seven times table whenever you like. There you go. I hope you liked it. If you did, why not visit my website, find out some more stuff you can do. Anyway, enjoy.